Alright, day two. Amex we're using this morning. It's about 20 past 8 in the morning. Nice and still. Let's put one out there on the 800-yard target and see how we go. Wow, way out to the left. Now, I've dialed 0.3 left for spin. And I reckon that's 0.3 left on my target. So I'll come back to zero. I'll leave the elevation because this shot might come up a little bit. Alright, looks like we need a bit of elevation. There we go. Damn it. Oh, I was nearly going to go for point, point 0.2 elevation. That would have been spot on. Send another one. Then we'll go to 900. Maybe point three was right. All right, the strength of that, we'll go on to 900. So I was point two over my mark. Let's go to 900. I'll just check my notes. Because I shot these, these are Amaxes by the way. I shot these at Cessnock at 900 the other week. Let's put one out there on the 900. I'll go one click for spin this time. Way to the left again. Right, no spin. We'll come up. We'll come up point two. And go again. All right, another one at 900. Well, that's point too high now. Little bit of mirage coming in. 
And there must be a slight breeze there somewhere I can't see because I'm point two to the left. Yeah, you can just see that bit of breeze on the flag there now. That looks like about one o'clock in the red. I'll send one more to confirm on that setting. Bugger. I actually pulled that little bit, dropped it as I was going. Alright, let's get out of here. Where is it? There he is. Zoom him up a little bit more. Alright, let's dial it. Now, yesterday I held the calibration actually was half a mil high at a thousand with the Sierras. So I'm going to go bang on with these AMAXs. Let's see how we go. First time I've shot these guys at a thousand. Let's see what they do. I think I heard a hit. I can't see it. Oh, I'll send another one, see if it shows up in the white. Before these fucking flies carry me away. I don't know whether it's the echo I'm hearing or it's the hit on the target, but again, I can't see a hit. Didn't see a splash down either, so I'll come back to the setting I was using yesterday for this year. It's there it is, I can see that one. So I wouldn't mind betting those first two. Look like they're about a quarter mil high. Because I just come down half a mil that time. So I'll dial down a quarter. I'm point two, I'll have to do. And I 
reckon I'm point two to the right, so yeah, point two left. I fucking set that off while I was trying to shoo a fly out of my face. God knows where that went. Oh, the image is terrible out of this scope. Don't do it to yourself. Don't buy a Vortex Viper. I've fucking hated it since I bought it. I think I'm grouping at about 10 o'clock on the red. So I need to go one click right, actually probably two. Yeah, I'll go with two. And one click down. Let's send another one, see if we can get it on the ball. There we go. That's what it's all about. Put another one on it. I think that one dropped low to the right. Let's go again. Actually, no, I won't, because I've got exactly 12 rounds left for the next F class. Ah, fuck it. Let's go. Didn't come up here to play tiddlywinks. Play to the right again. I'll be buggered. That's point two low and point two right, which is what I dialed on a minute ago. One more. Let's see if we can get back on that ball again. I think that was a bull again. Super. Thanks for coming. Oh, there you go. There's the setup. Oh, hang on. I better zoom back. It's only a shitty old Hoa 308 varmint. With that Viper on it, which I'm not really impressed with. But, you think a Hoa 308 can't shoot? Think again.
And this concludes our stay here at Cooler. We're about to pack up and leave.